Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on this episode, we're making a repair on the Champion Log Splitter. So, y'all stay tuned. I've owned this Champion 34 ton log splitter for about two years now. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed. I've split a lot of firewood with it. But like anything mechanical, you're gonna run into problems occasionally. Last year, I broke my pull rope for my starter. I took it to a local shop and they put a new one on. It seemed like the rope might have been just a little bit longer than the factory one. This year, the actual spring inside that pull start came apart and instead of taking it to the shop and having them trying to fix it, I went ahead and just bought a whole new unit. I think that's going to be a lot easier than trying to fix this one. Doesn't look like a hard process, but let's get into it. Now take your starter off. There's three bolts on there holding it on. Takes an eight millimeter socket. With this one, I've already pulled all the guts out of it. So it's just this cover on there. I just wanted to put that back on there so I didn't get a bunch of debris and stuff when I was driving down the road with it. But get this cover off and hopefully the new one just bolts right up. There's a look inside the starter without the cover on it. The part that would, was broken on mine was I guess the teeth that were supposed to uh, grab onto that starter and pull it. I just found them sitting in there. To buy a replacement part, I did a quick search on the internet and I found this company called V Power Equipment and it looked like a direct replacement and it looks pretty good. Shipping was fast on it. I ordered it last week and I mean I got back in less than a week so that's really good. Hopefully it bolts right up. I'm always nervous when I buy parts online. The replacement cover is shaped a little different than the original. Um, I don't know if that has any bearing on anything. The holes, the holes match up on the bolts. That's good. Let's go ahead and bolt it in and see if this thing will crank. Alright folks, got it all bolted up. Here's the moment of truth. I'm going to turn my gas on. Here's your Hawkman Outdoors Pro Tip of the Day. When you're getting ready to split some wood, let your splitter warm up a little bit. Cycle it a few times, let that hydraulic fluid warm up. It's going to go a little smoother. Then, when you're getting ready to call it a day, go ahead and cut your gas off and let all that gas burn up through there. It'll make starting your splitter a little easier next time you come out. Plus, if it gets really cold and you got a little water in your gas, it's not going to freeze in your carburetor and could potentially cause some damage there. So that's your Hawkman Outdoors Pro Tip of the Day. My final thoughts on the V-Power Equipment pull start on the Champion 34 ton log splitter. Gotta say, it starts up just fine. No troubles whatsoever. The pull cord itself seems a little shorter than the factory original, but it starts the machine, no problem. The assembly itself seems a little lighter weight than the factory original too. If I have any issues in the future with that, I'll be glad to let you guys know. Um, ordering from V Power Equipment was super simple. This thing was about 30 bucks and it's shipped here in less than a week. And that's great because I need to get this thing back up and running and make myself some money. Well there you have it folks, a simple and easy installation of the V Power Equipment pull start from my Champion 34 ton log splitter. So easy even I can do it. If you have any technical questions about this, probably better off to go look elsewhere. I'm not a mechanic. This is about the extent of my knowledge. But I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned to Hawkmore Outdoors for more exciting outdoor adventures.